Man, what an insane year for Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavaloa. He's been having a career year stat-wise with more weapons around him than he's ever had before. Now, there's a hefty debate going around whether he's any good or not. You hear people comparing him to Justin Herbert just because the Dolphins had a chance to get Herbert and took Tua over him. And say what you want about the guy, but the Dolphins have been a better team with him on the field, and there's no disputing that. But is his time in Miami up? Actually, if we're being honest, could his time in the NFL be up? In this video, we're going to discuss what the Dolphins should do at quarterback in 2023, and we're also going to discuss the future of Tua. And you'll never guess the surprise player that could be in line to go to Miami, and it's not the usual suspects you're hearing in the media. But before we get started, if you can, please click that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button as it will really help this channel grow. Tua has had one of the scariest concussions that ever been caught on camera. I mean, just the vision of his fingers locking up is something that will stick in a lot of people's minds for a long, long time. And thankfully, he wound up being okay and has actually come back to play well since then. But it's not been all roses for Tua since coming back after his second concussion in four days in week four of the NFL season. The Dolphins, they've been streaking the whole season, but it's safe to say that Dolphins head coach Mike McDaniel is a top tier offensive play caller. The Dolphins have had one of the most creative offenses in the 2022 season. Of course, it makes it easier when you have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle on the outside, but nevertheless, McDaniels has made it work. The real question is, what's going to happen with Tua? Let's forget the fact that he has three concussions in one season. He's completing his third NFL year and is eligible for the team to pick up his fifth year option. Or the team can elect to give him a contract extension, which seems unlikely given his current medical status. If the Dolphins do decline his fifth year option, they can still have him on the roster for one more year, but will they want him? There's a good chance that the Dolphins will make the business decision and move on from Tua. So if they decide to move on from Tua, who are they going to elect to go with? Here's a name to look out for, and he's got ties to McDaniel, Jimmy G. Now, Jimmy Garoppolo was the quarterback for the 49ers when McDaniel was the offensive coordinator. He knows his system real well and may certainly be an option for the Dolphins. But here's the thing about Jimmy G. He has injury concerns on his own. Every year, he just seems to get injured, and now he's getting a little bit older, too. So will the Dolphins want to take on another injury-prone quarterback? And even if they decide that his injuries are not a concern, you know, Jimmy G can do everything McDaniel needs, but he's not really a guy that can throw it downfield as well as others. You know, he doesn't have the huge arm, and while that wasn't a big deal in San Francisco, you know, he can just dump it off to Debo Samuel, you have investments in Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. It may make sense to get somebody with a bigger arm that can get it to them downfield. Which leads me to the next option. Look out for this name, Derek Carr. Now, Derek Carr has been with the Raiders for what seems like forever at this point. After a miserable season with his first year head coach, Josh McDaniels, it may be time for Derek Carr to move on. And it may be time for the Raiders to move on as well. You know, the Raiders, they can get out of his contract very easily early in the offseason. And there's been rumblings about Tom Brady going to Vegas to reunite with Josh McDaniels. So... If the Raiders move off a car, Miami is definitely an interesting landing spot. Now look, Derek Carr is not a top tier quarterback in this league, but one thing he is, he's an elite deep ball thrower. And while he's not top tier, he is mid tier and he's good enough with a good team around him to win a championship. Now go ahead and leave me a comment because I know some people are gonna disagree on that one. There are a ton of good prospect QBs in the draft but don't look for the Dolphins to be a player with any of them. They don't have a first round pick in the draft after forfeiting one in the Tom Brady tampering case and trading the other for Bradley Chubb, but look for one other quarterback to possibly go to Miami. And no, it's not Tom Brady. That ship has likely sailed. And if he does come back, I think he's going to go somewhere on the West Coast like the 49ers or Raiders. We're talking about Lamar Jackson. Now, Lamar is in a year long contract standoff with the Baltimore Ravens. He wants a fully guaranteed contract, just like Deshaun Watson got. And so far, the Ravens haven't blinked and I don't expect them to. You know, Lamar Jackson has been starting to get a little hurt these past few years and the Ravens are still winning despite him being out. They may elect to go with the cheaper option in Tyler Huntley who has showed some promise. Now that leaves Lamar needing a new team. He's from South Florida and would thrive under coach Mike McDaniel. Lamar has been a better thrower than he gets credit for, and if you look at the wide receiver he has thrived with, it's all been guys with a ton of speed like Hollywood Brown. It would be a great fit, but it's far from a sure thing. You're still gonna have that contract obstacle where Lamar is gonna wanna get paid guaranteed money, and the Dolphins may be not willing to give it either. Then you have compensation. As we said, the Dolphins don't have the first round pick that they would 
you know, have to give up in order to get Lamar. It's going to be hard for them to pry Lamar away, and he's going to eat up a ton of cap space. So we'll see what will happen with that. As for Tua, he should take the year off. It's not a popular thing for young guys to do that, but three concussions in one year is a big deal. He should take a year off to figure out if he still wants to play for the 2024 season. So what do you think is going to happen to the Dolphins at quarterback in 2023? And do you think two is done? Leave a comment below. And again, please subscribe to our channel.